morning, everybody. Good morning. I will be reading from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15 through 21. The Advocate. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, which the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows it. But you know it because it remains with you and will be with you. It will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Blessings on the reading. Amen. Actually, you know what? I forgot to read verse 21. Let me finish. Sorry. I'm going to be fired from this job. <laughs> Whoever has my commandments and observes them, and the one who loves me is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him. Amen. Amen. Today's scripture is taken from Acts uh, 17, that would be verses 22 through 31. <clears throat> it goes like this. So Paul, standing in the middle of the aerial, 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 how do you say that? Aerial, aerial, yes. Okay. It's in Athens. It says, it's Athens. Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way, you are very religious. For as I pass along and observe the object of your worship, I found also an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What? Therefore, you worship as unknown. This I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by man, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needs anything, since he himself gives to all men life and breath and everything. And he made from, and, and he made from one every nation of men to live on all the faces of the earth, having determined a lot of period and the boundaries of their habitation, that they should seek God in the hope that they, they might feel after Him and find Him. Yet He is not far from each one of us, for in Him we live and move and have our healing. As even some of you, your poets have said, we, for we are indeed His offsprings. Being then God's offsprings, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone or rep representation by the art of imaginations of man. The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all men everywhere to repent because he had fixed a day in which we have judged the world in righteousness by a man who has appointed and of this he has given assurance to all men by raising him from the dead. Amen. Amen. May God bless the reading and the hearing of the Bible. <clears throat> 